Candidates for State Senator, District 29. Martin Quezada. Party, Democratic. Campaign funding, traditional. Website, martinquezada.com. My name is Martin Quezada, and I have the honor of representing the people of Maryvale and Glendale in Legislative District 29 as your state senator, where I've been a voice for our shared values of economic, racial, social, and environmental justice for all. I've had the opportunity to serve in our community as a community activist, attorney, elected school board member, state representative, and now as your state senator. In each of these roles, I've had the privilege of being your trusted voice for fully funded public education, your advocate for quality jobs with living wages and affordable health care as a human right. And I've been your defender of our constitutional rights to vote, to engage in direct democracy and be free from all forms of discrimination and structural inequity in our society. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to earn your vote again, to be your leader for our shared progressive values in the State Senate. If you'd like more information, please take the time to learn more about the issues that I passionately advocate for as your voice at the Capitol by visiting martinquezada.com and connecting with me on all social media platforms at SEN Quezada 29, Senator Martin Quezada. John Wilson, Party Republican, Campaign Funding, Participating, Website, No Website Submitted, No Statement Submitted. Candidates for State Representative, District 29. Richard Andrade. Party, Democratic. Campaign Funding, Traditional. Website, www.richandrade.com. I am seeking my fourth term as your state representative. I have been successful in getting legislation passed. A constituent request for baby changing tables resulted in me championing adult changing tables. Because a family member with a disability deserves the respect, dignity, and most importantly, the privacy to be changed because a dirty restroom floor is unacceptable. Recently, the COVID-19 pandemic showed why we need a leader who will continually fight for paid time off, sick leave, paid FMLA, livable wages, and most importantly, safety in the workplace. The pandemic has many in our communities worried about bills, mortgages, and most importantly, affordable health care. Many already live in this crisis day to day without a pandemic because many in our communities are struggling to keep the lights on and put food on the table. Affordable housing is becoming non-existent 
because many are struggling to put a roof over their heads. My covenant to you is to represent you, not big businesses or corporations. I am a progressive Democrat who will continue to fight for you, which is why I am asking you to support and vote for a proven, effective leader in 2020. Billy Bragg, party, Republican. Campaign funding, participating. Website, no website submitted. DOB, 14 September, 1952. Born, Texarkana, Arkansas. Married to, Winda S. Bragg for 46 years. Four adult children, two grandchildren, lived in Arizona for 49 years. I served in the Air Force for 21 years as an E-6 technician sergeant. Volunteer for Governor Rose Mofford Drug Abuse Committee, 1987. Volunteer to work with Victor Washington Campaign for Corporation Commissioner in 1992. My introduction to politics started when I was 15 years of age. Working for the campaign to elect Winthrop Rockefeller, Republican candidate for governor, which he won. the first Republican governor to elected as governor of Arkansas. Governor Rockefeller was the first person to inspire me to get involved in politics. He explained the importance of voting and voting the right people in office. Cesar Chavez. Party, Democratic. Campaign funding, traditional. Website, cesarchavezarizona.com. Born in Guanajuato, Mexico in 1987, along with his parents, immigrated to the United States when he was three years of age. From a very young age, Representative Chavez saw the lack of resources within education and health care. His involvement was key to numerous movements, including the protests against anti-immigrant law, SB 1070, signed by former Governor Jan Brewer in 2010. His compassion for the immigrant community led to him championing other issues such as education, health care, and economic development. During his first term, Representative Chavez has proven to be a structural member of the Arizona State Legislature. Not only has he been willing to work across the aisle in a bipartisan manner for the benefit of his constituency, he has been able to stop hurtful legislation from going through the legislative process. Representative Chavez serves as ranking member of the Commerce, Land and Agriculture, and Technology Committees, co-founder of the Arizona Legislative LGBTQ Caucus, co-chair of the Arizona Legislative Latino Caucus, and vice president for membership of the National Hispanic Caucus of State Legislators. Helen. 
Fozansky Conti. Party, Republican. Campaign funding, participating. Website, no website submitted. I am a 41 year resident of Maricopa County, currently living in Glendale since 1982. I came to America as a baby after World War II, when my parents fled from communism and settled in America in Ohio. Typical non-English speaking refugees looking for the American dream, we knew what hard work and sacrifice was. I am a God-fearing, conservative, Christian businesswoman currently working in the medical field. Currently, I have been representing you in this district as a precinct committeeman and at times as a state committeeman since 1985. I am a longtime resident. I am invested in Legislative District 29. I am a new voice, a new candidate, not running on a single platform, but encompassing all needs of the community. I would be honored to represent you in Legislative District 29 as Arizona State Representative, and I'm asking for your vote. I can be reached at Helen for House LD29 at gmail.com via email if you would have any specific questions or would like further information.